Well, everyone, you might be trying to figure out what the main differences are between Siri with Apple Intelligence and regular Siri, and whether you should go ahead and upgrade to an iPhone that has Apple Intelligence capability, or whether you should just keep your current iPhone. Now, the first thing I'd probably tell you is that for the average person out there, it probably doesn't matter that much whether you have an Apple Intelligence device or not. There's a lot of really cool features to have within Apple Intelligence, but within the Siri specifically, there are still so many more improvements Apple basically has to kind of go ahead and you know, open up and kind of fix in order for there to be better improvements within Siri. Now, you know, kind of for the big thing to keep in mind here is that for the basis of this video, there are lots and lots of things that Apple Intelligence can and will be able to do in the future that Siri as of this point will not be able to do. But as of this point, I'm going to be honest, between Apple Intelligence and standard Siri, there's a lot of overlap here for sure in, my, in like in my personal opinion. But I've had a lot of issues with an Apple Intelligence for the most part right now, and hopefully these things end up getting fixed for the most part. Now, one of the big things here is that within invoking Siri, it's basically the same exact thing. So you can basically go through and invoke Siri just by clicking on the, you know, or holding down on the side button for the most part. And you can invoke Siri that way, which is still very cool. Now, there's also a cool little like, you know, animation that happens now when you invoke Siri. So now when you go through and invoke Siri, you can basically go through and, you know, get this new little animation that comes up, which is really cool. And that is something that's actually really awesome. And you do have that type of capability here. So compared to standard Siri, it's actually a much nicer type of layout there. And that is actually something that I like a lot there too. So it is super nice that you kind of have that type of capability there of basically invoking Siri that way. And then, you know, you can just invoke it that way and kind of go from there. And that is something that I actually like a lot about it. So I would say that in and of itself is a very, very cool thing. On top of that, when you're talking about, you know, invoking Siri for random other things, it's basically the same exact experience for the most part. So if you're wanting to go and change, you know, X, Y, and Z in your schedule, or you want to change this or that, it's going to be roughly the same type of experience too. The cool thing though, is that with Siri, with Apple Intelligence, it is, con it is contextually aware of what's on your display. So what you can basically do is if you go through and if you wanted to go ahead and, you know, kind of look at something that's going on in your display or whatever the case is, you can have it kind of, you know, be contextually aware of what is going on with your iPhone. So let's say you have a photo open or you're on a website or you're on something like that. It is actually very cool that you can invoke Siri and have it basically ask certain questions and you can get a, you know, get in more information about a certain thing that you're looking at in your display. Standard Siri right now doesn't have that. But, you know, Siri in the future, hopefully will have some capability like that. But Apple Intelligence will have this type of feature, which again, is a very, very cool thing for sure. Now, on top of those things, Apple Intelligence with Siri built in, those things are also going to have, you know, basically the first in line for all of these AI features that Apple's going to be making, all the machine learning stuff Apple's making too. But the big thing too is ChatGPT integration. Within Apple Intelligence, it's looking like we're probably going to be getting our, you know, ChatGPT features inside of Apple Intelligence in and of itself, which again is a very cool thing to have. And that is another very, very awesome thing when you're looking at, you know, the grand scheme of things. It in and of itself is another very cool thing to have the capability of having. And I, for one, I'm a humongous fan of that for sure as well. So that in and of itself is another very cool thing going on here too. So overall, I will definitely tell you, Apple Intelligence with Siri is way better than regular Siri. You're not going to be really noticing too many differences as of this point, but in the future, you're definitely going to be noticing these bigger differences. And I generally cannot wait until we get these bigger differences and these, you know, big updates. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.